What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a rotation, right, about a point. And I'm gonna go over two examples, but we're gonna start with the easier one. So as you can see here, we have a right triangle, and we're gonna rotate it 120 degrees about point P right here, okay? So the way you do that is you always start at your point right here, and then you just draw a straight line to each point on your shape. So from here, we would draw a straight line from P to A, and then from P to C, and then from P to B. Okay, and then you just take each of those lines and rotate them 120 degrees, okay? And as you can see, uh, here it says rotate positive 120 degrees, right? So when you have a positive number, that's a positive rotation, and that means you rotate in the counterclockwise direction like that, okay? If for whatever reason this said rotate negative 120 degrees, well then you would rotate the other way in the clockwise direction, okay? But that's not what we're doing here, right? We're just gonna do a positive rotation, okay? So again, the first thing you wanna do is just draw a straight line from your point to each point on your shape, all right? So we're gonna draw a straight line first from P to A. So from P to A, there you go. And then you're gonna line up your protractor with this line right here, okay? So you're gonna put the center of your protractor right on your point that you're rotating about. Okay, and then you're gonna line up your uh, line that you just drew with zero degrees on your protractor. Okay, so you can see it's lined up with zero degrees right here. So then we're gonna rotate this thing 120 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna rotate this 120 degrees to right there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna draw a little reference point right here at 120 degrees. And then the next thing we're gonna do is draw a straight line from P through that uh, point right there, but we have to figure out how long of a point that is. So it's going to be the same length as this line that you just drew. So this line, as you can see, is four inches long, right? That's four inches right there. So that means this line that we draw right here is also going to be four inches long. Okay, so line up your two points right there, and we're going to draw a line that's four inches long to right there, and right there. Okay. So then this point right here uh, is, was A, so now this point is A prime, A prime, okay? Make sure you always draw your little prime symbol on there to show that this is the copied point, basically, okay? So we did A, now let's just skip down to C right here. So again, we're just gonna draw a straight line from P to C, okay, draw a straight line right there, and then you're gonna line up your protractor with that line right there, so lining it up on P, and then as you can see, it's going straight through zero degrees right there, right? And then again, we're just gonna rotate it 120 degrees, which again is right there. So again, just draw a little reference point right there. Now, how long is this line from P to C? Well, it looks like it's two inches long, right? So then this line is going to be two inches long also, right there, boom, two inches long. Okay, so this point was C, so that means this point right here is C prime. Okay, and then lastly, we just have point B. Uh, so draw a straight line from point B to, or P to B, right there. And then line this puppy up with that line. So it looks like it's lined up right there. And then we already have 120 20 degrees right here. Okay, so then I'm gonna draw just a little reference point again. And then how long is this point from P to B? Well, it looks like it is five inches, all right? So then this line is also going to be five inches, right? There, there it's lined up. And draw a straight line five inches away to right there, all right? So then this point right here is B prime. Okay, so we have our three points of our triangle, right? A, B, and C. So last thing we have to do is just connect the dots. All right, so line it up from A to B, right to there. Oops, a little too long, but that's okay. And then from B to C, right there. And then lastly, from A to C. Boom. Okay, so here is your triangle, your right triangle. We can draw a right angle on there also. We just rotated it 120 degrees. Okay, so here's the second problem, and I wanted to go over this one because as you can see, point P over here is on the triangle, right? But all we're really doing is rotating about point P. So all that means is you can basically just 
take your pen or pencil or whatever, put it at point P, and then we're just rotating everything about point P 65 degrees. Okay, so again, you just start at point P and then you draw a straight line to the points that you wanna rotate, right? So we would draw a straight line from P to R and from P to Q. But as you can see, there's already a straight line drawn from P to R and from P to Q, right? So we're going to rotate this line 65 degrees and then we're also gonna take this line and rotate that one 65 degrees, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do here is since we already have a straight line from P to R, is we just put our protractor right there, put your dot right on the P, right? And then make sure your straight line right here is lined up with zero degrees, okay? And then we wanna rotate this thing 65 degrees, right? So we're gonna go to right there, it looks like. And then again, draw a little reference point right there, okay? How long is the line from P to R? Well, it looks like it is two inches long, okay? So then this line right here from P to R is also going to be two inches long. P to, and I should be more specific, this line right here is R prime, right? So that point right there is R prime, okay? So now uh, let's rotate this one. So again, draw a straight line from P to Q, we already have it. So then just line up your protractor, boom, right there, and then rotate this one 65 degrees, which looks like it is right there. Okay, there's 65 degrees. Draw your little reference point. And how long is this line from P to Q? Well, it looks like it is two inches also, okay? So then this line is also going to be two inches. There we go, there to there, all right? So then this point right here is Q prime, okay? Now the last point we have is P, and in this case, P is the same point as P prime, right? Because it's like saying, well, draw a straight line from P to P. Well, we just land right there, right? We don't move. So P and P prime are the exact same spot, okay? So as you can see, we now have our three points, right? P or P prime, R prime, and put my little symbol right there, Q prime, okay? So then again, just line everything up and play connect the dots. Boom, there's one. There's two, and there is three, okay? So there's your triangle rotated 65 degrees. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.